Welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in the new iMovie 2013 updated version. I'm doing a series on some tutorial vids on some stuff you can do in the new version. So I'm going to be showing you how to add and remove audio within the new version of iMovie. So we have uh, a few things that I need to go over first. First and foremost, you need to go ahead and have a movie or a trailer selected. So if you don't know how to do that and you want to create a new movie, you can go up to this nice convenient addition symbol here that says create. Once you click on that, you'll see two options, a movie or a trailer. Go ahead and make a movie or a trailer, whatever you want to do, and then you'll select a theme for that movie. I'm not going to do that because I already have, but once you've done that, you will see it nicely here in the center of your screen. Once you have selected the uh, movie that you're wanting to work on, you then can go ahead and grab some video footage here from the video that you have imported into iMovie. If you need to know how to do that, I have a video on how to import video footage into the new iMovie, but go ahead and select some of that video there, drag it down into your timeline here. And once we've done that, uh, if the video has audio, you can do one of two things. You can split the audio, or it's called detaching the audio, and then you can just select it and remove it by clicking the delete button or backspace button on a Windows. And then in the lower left-hand you know, area of the screen here, you'll see a few options. You will see iTunes, you will see sound effects, and you will see GarageBand. Now, the sound effects are automatic sound effects that are um, already shipped within iMovie, so those should be on everybody's computer. iTunes here, you will see your iTunes library, and GarageBand could be some custom audio that you have created within GarageBand. So I'm going to go ahead and go to a sound. Let's go to iTunes first, and then what you'll do is you can grab a song. So say, uh, I'll be there for you from Bon Jovi. You can click that. It should be highlighted, and then click and hold, and you can drag it it down into your timeline. So what you do, you're going to see a few things. You're going to see a green addition circle there. Uh, go ahead and let go of that there, and that will insert the entire song. So if I scroll through my timeline, I'm going to have a whole bunch of you know empty video, but with the entire song. So in order to remedy that, I scroll to the end of the song, and I can click here, and I can shorten it up. Uh, that's actually doing something completely different. I can shorten it up by clicking the two arrows there. There and just continue dragging it until I get the desired length that I want of that song. So if I do that and then press play, you're going to hear some Bon Jovi. Anyways, that's how you add a vi uh, not video, I'm sorry, that's how you add audio from iTunes. Sound effects is basically the same deal. I'm going to go ahead and select that audio, and it's as easy as just selecting the audio here. It'll be highlighted with yellow lines around it, and then pressing the delete key on your keyboard, and that will remove any audio or video, for that matter, that you may have added. Once we've done that, we can select sound effects over here, and let's say I want to go here and select City 1. One, which is a nice city sound there. I can click and hold just like that and it will bring it up onto my timeline. Now, what if I want to skip that step of having to decrease the time by clicking and dragging all the way until I get the way I want? All you got to do is hover it over the, uh, you know, whatever clip you want it to uh, accumulate there and it will do that. Or what I can do is double click on that and I can actually uh, open up the clip trimmer and it makes it much easier and it's all visible within one screen. So I can actually double click, access this, and then make it exactly the duration that I want it to, and that works out very easily. Then I can press play, and I have my nice city sounds there on my video. So guys, that's how you add, edit, and remove audio within the new iMovie 2013. If you happen to have any questions about how to go about doing this, please put those in the comment box below. As convoluted as Google Plus has made it, I still try to answer those questions, guys. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching the video. Hit the thumbs up button down below. It helps me out. Share this video with your friends and family who may need to know some of this awesome knowledge that I am driving. Dropping. And guys, I will see you next time.